The, please stand. Your merciful love, O Lord, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. We celebrate this Mass for the intention of the, the giving thanks for the life and on her birthday, Henobeba Alvarez. Is Henobeba Alvarez here? <laughs> there she is. Happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños. Make sure there's nothing else. Okay. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from the slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness from our, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more our God to the works of our hands. For in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew for Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar and put forth its shoots. His splendor shall be like the olive tree and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and, and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree. Because of me, you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. 
Straight are the paths of the Lord, in them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. My mouth will declare your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. My mouth will declare your praise. Behold, you are pleased with sincerity of heart, and in my inmost being you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me of sin with hyssop, that I may be purified. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. My mouth will declare your praise. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. My mouth will declare your praise. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustain in me. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My mouth will declare your praise. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you to all truth and remind you of all I told you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Read from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves, so be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But be aware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of the fa your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name. But whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. We've been hearing in our first reading from uh, the prophets, and these prophets have been warning the people about their sins, and are called repentance, because the sin of the people of God, they've been trying to live their lives on their own terms without God, and um, on their own devices. And we see the fallout of this, we've talked about this a few times, first thing was the civil war. In, in Israel, which had the kingdom of Israel divided into the north, northern kingdom of Israel, and the south, the southern kingdom of Judah, right after Solomon's death. And we, if you remember, we heard from the prophet Amos. He was a prophet speaking to the north, and he was rebuking them for several things, injustice to the poor, and how they were doing all the religious practices, but it was empty, because it was not from their heart. And, of course, idolatry, which we keep hearing about idolatry. And Amos called the people for call to repentance, return back to God. And now we've been hearing from Hosea. He also is a prophet to the north, around 750 to 725 BC. So he was preaching to them really the same, same message. And he was preaching right, uh, really immediately before the Syrian conquest of the northern kingdom when they, when they were taken into their exile. And we finished today the book, you know, readings from, from Hosea. And then we're going to go to Isaiah who speaks his prophecies to the south. Um, so let's just kind of put this in perspective. And getting back to today, Hosea, he's been telling, he tells us mainly of God's steadfast love and his fidelity in spite of all the people's sinfulness, in spite of their being not faithful to him. 
He condemns them for the idolatry, and he talks about how their idolatry is adultery against God because God is the faithful bridegroom and Israel is the bride who's unfaithful, but God is always faithful. In today's reading, Isaiah pleads with his spouse. He says, return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. And he continues, say to him, forgive all iniquity, because God's willing to do that. We shall say no more our God to the work of our hands, you know, to those idols. And God says to them, I will heal their defection. I will love them freely. So God again reinstates and tells them that he loves them totally, even in their sinfulness, if they will just turn back to them. Now, one of the threads that leads throughout all of the prophets is the, the idea of this restoration of the broken relationship between God and his people and the unification of north and south of all Israel as one people, and then bringing the Gentiles with them. This culminates ultimately, of course, with the coming of the Messiah. Now, in our gospel, we've been hearing uh, about this, you know, Jesus preparing for the kingdom of God. And we just heard this a day or two ago, uh, the beginning of the chapter 10 in, in Matthew's gospel, when he calls the 12, and he says this, and he called to him his 12 disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out, to heal every disease and every infirmity. The names of the 12 apostles are these. This is when he calls all of them. First, Simon, who is called Peter, and to his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and, his, and John, his brother, Philip and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanian and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. These 12 Jesus sent out, charging them to go. And he says, um, preach as you go, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And he gives them a share in his ministry. He says, heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. Okay, so we see that Jesus is restoring the kingdom of, of, of Israel by calling the 12 apostles who are a symbol of the 12 tribes of Israel. But being called by God, being called by Jesus, as the apostles were and as we are, is not an easy task. It's not for wimps and it's not for sissies. Today, Jesus in, continues after in calling them. He says, behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. He says, beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts. And there's persecution you know that the apostles, of course, um, had that persecution. They went through that persecution. Jesus goes on, he says, you will be hated by all because of my name. So the apostles went through that persecution, so did the early Christians. And it might be our turn to do so, ourselves. Persecution, I think we're starting to see it. We see the silencing of faith, the silencing of religion and worship. You know, if we speak out, Sometimes it's about some of these idolatries that are in our society today. If we speak out against abortion, some of the moral issues, like homosexual marriage. Did you guys hear what happened just recently in one of the counties of the United States? They legalized not only, you know, uh, in terms of what marriage is, they called it polyamory. Did you hear that? That means they're now recognizing not just maybe two women, two men, but now... It could be three people coming together in, a, in some kind of a union. They're going to call it, give the same equal rights as marriage. Well, if we speak out against these things, sometimes they call it hate crimes. You know, we're called bigots. Some people go to, in some countries, going to prison for, for speaking out against these things. You know, coming together to worship is becoming more and more difficult. We can't sing. <laughs> we're told that we can't sing in our churches. Jesus said, however, but he who endures to the end will be saved. That's our hope. That's our goal. So to be a real Christian, to be a real Catholic, not just going through the motions like we talked about, you know, in the northern kingdom where they're doing all the rites and rituals, but they weren't truly uh, faithful to God, it's going to get harder and harder for us. We need to take to heart Hosea's words. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, and them the just walk, but sinners stumble in, in them. 
And again, just to echo Jesus, he says, and this is for us, we need to be strong. He says, for whoever endures to the end will be saved. Please stand as we now make our petitions before the Lord. Let us pray uh, that the Lord will uh, prepare us as a people, prepare uh, the faithful, that they will uh, be, able, be able to endure all of the tribulations that uh, he might will would come our way. We ask that we would be prepared. We ask that we would uh, be strengthened in God. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord. We pray that uh, we will have our prophets of this day, like Hosea, like Isaiah, um, like Amos, who will uh, give us God's word clearly, will tell us God's heart, will tell us uh, what we need to know. For this, we pray to the Lord. We pray uh, that we might uh, be able to take our discipleship uh, with, uh, with great courage and desire, with a great desire for holiness. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for uh, an end to the evil acts in public these days, tearing down statues, and uh, especially of saints, especially of saints, and, and anything else that God's will be done according to justice and according to right reason. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord. Uh, we pray for um, peace in the world, for this we pray to the Lord. Lord. Pray for those who are dying, for those who are suffering from uh, the coronavirus right now in hospitals, for their recovery. We pray to the Lord. Lord. And we pray uh, for all of the intentions in the Book of Intentions. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord. Let us pray now for the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord hear. Heavenly Father, hear all of our prayers today. Grant them in your goodness and in your kindness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. And by his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jaime, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, A point of clarification, I've been saying you're gonna have a liturgy of the word uh, while I'm away, but not on Monday because the deacon's going out for a hike and he won't be back until Tuesday. Okay, so I don't know who he's hiking with, but I hope you have fun. <laughs> have a great couple of weeks, everyone. Uh, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us commend ourselves to our Blessed Mother, asking for her intercession for the end to abortion, terrorism, the COVID-19 crisis, the social unrest, and to St. Michael the Archangel uh, for his intercession for our vigilance in these trying times for our faith. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Queen of the universe, mediatrix of men to God, refuge of all our hopes, have mercy on us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, the hour of our death. Saint Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.